What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Martin and today I'm taking you on a tour with the all new BMW M2 4Ti rear wheel drive because up until now we only got the xDrive four wheel drive version but now we finally have the classic recipe of rear wheel drive short wheelbase straight six in the front in a two series so wow i really have been looking forward to this car m240 i just a little recap we have a beautiful front design if you ask me beautiful lines that just strike inwards beautiful kidney grille classic bmw design really like the headlight design little bit of a wide body at the front fender man i love this classic m performance wheel design uh, we have Pirelli p zeros today with a star mark so we know it's the bmw spec we have these cerium gray accents which i still love and we now also have signature bmw m mirror caps for the m performance models they all have those right now this is where it gets worse if you ask me a bit of a weird busy design that just looks like a hyundai from the 90s right one of those sad coupes really don't like it so i am really waiting for the lci to fix that uh, what i also don't like and i really hate this actually i also have this on my m3 4gi the tailpipe design it's just this stupid little bumper piece with a silencer peeking through it's really butt ugly What isn't is that piece of magic underneath here. The B58 straight six engine from BMW. Three liter, single turbo, 374 horsepower, 500 newton meters. Now the beautiful thing is that in contrast to the M3 4Ti, the 4 4Ti, this doesn't have the mild hybrid system. So we don't see any purple or orange cable running. So this is just an ICE engine. I also think the rear wheel drive setup, straight six at the front, classic BMW design is sort of disappearing because nowadays everyone gets an M3 with X drive. You shouldn't, which I'm now going to demonstrate because this M2 4GI is a lot more fun with just rear wheel drive. Let me show you guys. So in the interior, we have an update. We now have iDrive 8 instead of iDrive 7, where you had two separate screens and the very early M240 i G42s even were available with, if you didn't option the screen setup, iDrive 7 screen setup, uh, digital cockpit whatever you could get like normal analog dials wow go look for one of those that is awesome um i have to say i like it better in the two series than a three series this iDrive 8 setup i feel like it's a bit more low down and i don't know why but i sort of like it uh we've also lost the gear lever don't know why we now have this toggle switch why don't know hi friendly neighbor and we have these and performance seats really nice really like this spec by the way with the blue at the outside and the cognac in the interior and i dressed accordingly and i really like this c pillar design for the handle with these m colors right there and they light up at night which is i don't know still debating about that okay so let's get driving it's really cold out today it's one degree celsius half an hour ago it was minus two so it's super slippery um which is a lot of fun with a rear wheel drive car it is a saturday morning so everyone is still in bed we are going to use sport plus so we have the most fun possible and we're also going for a sport traction mode uh, and for manual mode for the gearbox so the good news is that the m240 i rear wheel drive is a lot cheaper than the x drive and 
it saves you a few grand and a few kilos because it's 55 kilos lighter because we don't have front wheel drive which is which is good news that means the front is also a lot more like direct and playful easier to turn in and that's also something i noticed with the m3s when you get the rear wheel drive version they are just a lot more communicative and more fun to drive the x drive versions yes you can turn off that's always the the argument you can turn it off but the weight and the diff and everything else it's still there the vagueness of that extra diff is still there but for the m240i it's a no-brainer because if you have the x drive version it's not even detachable you know you cannot make it a rear wheel drive m240i with just the push of a button it's not an mx drive system so that does mean this is a little slower to 100 well it's as i said we don't have any traction and you probably don't see anything with that sun staring into that sun but well that wasn't too bad actually uh, but as i said we're a bit slower than the xdrive version because we are oh, it's a handful in these conditions um this is a 4.7 to 100 and the xdrive 4.3 so that's quite a big difference That does really sound good this is such a playful BMW and we have 374 horsepower which isn't a lot nowadays but we have that beautiful straight six with that beautiful character it's oh I don't see anything and that's just Everything about this car is just controversial to anything else on the market. It's not a hybrid. It, it's rear wheel drive. It's a straight six, you know. Everything is good news. It's like an old school BMW at its best. Because if you compare this to the previous M240i rear wheel drive, I mean the suspension, the interior, everything else is just so much better. And finally BMW have sort of nailed the ZF configuration the software side of it because with earlier m340i's like my own it's a bit sluggish and slow and with this one it's so much snappier and sharp I really really like that it's just bang into gear same for the downshift it really is noticeably sharper and that might have something to do with the fact that it's a rear wheel drive version so the gearbox has less of a resistance shifting up and down now let me show you the strength of this b58 engine okay i'm just going to go 80 kilometers an hour fifth gear totally the wrong gear but floor it It's just silky smooth, it picks up, it builds up. Oh, what a symphony. That is a one gear pull, 80 to 220, something like that. So impressive and so smooth and so powerful. So the quickest 100 to 200 was fourth gear flooring it so that wasn't a hundred but shift at a little over 6,000 rpm and that's 100 to 200 in 9.8 seconds it's as fast as a audi rs3 wow that is quick it's two tenths of a second quicker than the xdrive version so that's the 55 kilos extra and a bit more drivetrain loss due to the X drive system but it's mainly about that 
that connection to the car with the rear wheel drive that's just a lot more engaging and I absolutely love this BMW M240 i I am a sucker for these M performance models I quite often like them better than the full-blown M models so wow can the new M2 live up to this M2 4Ti? I mean, the price tag is totally, totally different. But there is one downside to this, which I'm now going to demonstrate. Third gear, floor it. And we do have some fake sound going on in here, you know, that bang on the upshift. But it is combined with the real sound and this is the top speed, 253 on the speedo, which is 242 GPS. Oh, here we go again. Two, I've bought a car that should do 250. Why is it doing 242 BMW? I have asked them several times why they do that with M performance models nowadays that stupid 240 top speed uh, they all have it sometimes it's 241 sometimes it's 244 but it's never 250 my m340i a 2020 model it's doing 260 gps so someone at bmw decided okay let's do 240 from now on I have no idea why and it's really bothering me and you know they just they don't sell what they're telling they're selling you know I'm really it's really bothering me but maybe it's just me so let's just put it into D and comfort mode and this is the sound without any of the fakeness also a classic beautiful straight six sound really like it oh man I love it I absolutely love this car I've been driving it for like six days now and there hasn't been a moment where I thought I really need to drive the M3 now because I'm just done with this car N not a single moment and I think it's a, a unique proposition in the car market today with C43 AMGs being way more expensive than this with a four cylinder and it's just nothing. This is, if you still want like a true petrol head driver's car, you still can at a reasonable, relatively, relatively speaking, reasonable price point. And it's this, the M240i rear wheel drive great great job by bmw so that was it i think so that was it guys thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed this video go subscribe by clicking the big button right here go check out this video go check out the pov reviews playlist thank you guys bye